POB doubt Nam the Kano is still alive. Ask DSS to show proof. The IPOB has come out to say that they are doubting even Nam the Kano is still alive and they have asked the DSS to show proof that their leader is still alive. And this is the news in full. The indigenous people of Biafra IPOB have reacted to the absence of their leader, Mazi Unam Dikanu, at the Abuja High Court on Monday, 26 July. The group, through its media and publicity secretary, urged the Department of State Services, DSS, to grant Kanu's lawyer and family members access to see him if he is still alive, Vanguard reports. Recall that DSS on Monday failed to produce the detained IBOB leader before the court for the continuation of his trial. The government lawyer M.B. Abubakar blamed Kanu's absence in court on what he termed as logistical problems. Reacting to the situation, IPOB averred, with the global family of the indigenous people of Biafra under the command and leadership of our great leader, Mazil Namdi Kanu condemned the sick and eyed attitude of the Department of State Services DSS and a systematic delay and failure to produce our leader, Mazil Namdi in court today in Abuja. This was a deliberate and wicked plot to inflict further torture on our leader, who they have kept in communicado for some days now. In the past seven days, in the past seven days, DSS has refused our lawyers and our leader's family members access to him. This is wickedness. We are no longer comfortable with this development. We have enough grounds to suspect foul play. With the failure of DSS to produce our leader in court today without any cogent reason, and coupled with the torture meted out to him since his abduction in Kenya, we are worried about the safety of our leader. The failure of DSS to produce our leader today in court is confirming our fear over the uncertainty concerning his health, considering his deteriorating health condition since he was kidnapped. And the refusal to, of DSS to grant him access to his personal physicians it is possible that our leader may have been killed. DSS should prove us wrong by producing our leader in court or granting his lawyer and family members access to him. We are running out of patience. Nigeria should not take IPOB for granted. Our leader must not die in detention. We also wish to heartily commend all market banks and government agencies, motor parks, transport companies who showed solidarity to our leader, Mazil Namdikano, without formal announcements from IPOB leadership. We thank all Biafrans and friends of Biafran who in one day, one way or the other, solidarize with our leader today. We also demand the unconditional release of all those arrested in Abuja and other parts of the country for their solidarity to our leader. Nigeria must release them. And my people, that's the news for today. As we've seen that the IPOB have said that the DSS failed to release, failed to produce the detained IPOB leader Unam Dikano for the, his trial and refused them access to seeing him. They think that for the last seven days they've not been able to contact him. They also went further to say that it is possible that they've already killed him. They said that he must not die in prison. And that is the conclusion. So they have called on to the DSS to produce their leader unfailingly as he must not die in detention. Don't forget to like this video, comment under this video and subscribe to this channel to get more news from this channel.